My name is Robin Sparks, and I'm a survivor of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Biomarker testing was crucial in determining my diagnosis and treatment. Almost a year and a half before I was diagnosed, my family doctor noticed that my white cell counts were rising. He wasn't that concerned. Then I noticed a peanut-sized lump on the side of my neck, and it eventually grew to the size of a walnut. My doctor was still not very concerned. When the lump on the side of my neck began to bulge, he referred me to an ear, nose, and throat specialist. He was concerned. The ENT sent me to an oncologist who diagnosed me with lymphoma. He ordered biomarker testing to determine the precise nature of my disease. I happened to have a background in science, so I was very curious to see what the results would show. Kind of like being the subject of my own science experiment. We learned from the biomarker testing that I had a genetic mutation on my 12th chromosome. This was good news and bad news. With lymphoma, if you have a mutation on the seventh chromosome, your disease will probably not be that harmful. But if your mutation is on the 13th chromosome, your odds of survival are lower. 12 is right in the middle, which told me that my non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was currently incurable but treatable. So based on that and other biomarker tests, my doctor put together this whole cocktail of chemo and immunotherapy. And within six months, I was in remission. I'm so grateful for that. And I'm so grateful to science for that. But I was also lucky. By the time we had fully diagnosed my cancer with biomarker testing, it had spread to my spleen. Its next stop would have been my liver. I can't help but think about that 18 month delay between when my symptoms first appeared and when I finally got tested. We need to be more vigilant about detecting and treating cancer generally, but we also need to make biomarker testing a standard diagnostic tool wherever and whenever appropriate. The delay in my diagnosis and treatment nearly cost me my life. It didn't need to be such a close call. I'm very passionate about biomarker testing. Had I not had the test in the nick of time, they would not have known which targeted therapy I needed to make my cancer go into remission.